people of Earth, the following podcast is not real. And what a few weeks of not real podcast it's been. But now our air quotes heroes return from all their high concept, middling payoff escapades to settle back into whatever it was we used to do before that began. Enjoy the show. <laughs> podcast with Kittle. It's just begun and you know I won't quittle. And I gotta keep rhyming. Ah, oh, shit. <gasps> Three rhymes, never tried that. Uh, wear a little flower as a hat. And, um, and, uh, third, oh, third rhyme. oh no. Life is its dick. Little life is its dick. Oh. <laughs> Get, get out of the way. What are you doing here? Get away from that microphone. How oh, dare What you. the what? Ah, phew. Chunt. Get, get, get Kittle. And kick. Sorry, dude. Ooh, uh, did you say what the what? Well, as in as in a hat and that? Oh, it's pretty good. What the what? I mean, when when you have to rhyme to stay alive, I'll, I'll grant you a few slant mm-hmm. rhymes. It's fine. Look, hmm. we say stupider shit than that, and what's our excuse? It's not How to save our own you. lives. No, 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 no. No, it's just a general stupidity. Wow, it is. Wow, it is weird to be back. This yeah, is. Yeah, what the what? What the what? What a wild fucking trip that was. What it the what? Was. But guys, we're back just in time. We probably. But just moments ago, we we were in a in a in a fantasy world where where Magic Tavern became the most popular thing in all of the world, and there was a a huge uh, amusement park in our honor. And and now we're back uh, here at Pearson Nibblebottom. But is this the same Nibblebottom that we left before? Oh no. yes, the butterscotch effect. Hmm. Kittle, Honey, do you know- Kittle. Yes. Answer a question only you can answer. Yes. Good rhyme. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Yeah. All right. We're we're Sounds back. Sounds like you just stick it a one word at a time to play it, it safe. Kittle's becoming progressively less committed to his bit, so we're definitely in the right universe. Speaking of being uh, too committed to a bit, hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host Arnie Neekamp, greatest warrior in all of Foon, defender of Foon, Earth, and now Ert. We'll get to that eventually. Ert, Gertz, or Ezert. If you if you never listened to the podcast before, there's everything you need to know. Over eight years ago, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. Luckily, I'm still getting a Wi-Fi signal from the Burger King through the dimensional rift, and I use that to upload a podcast recorded here in the tavern, the strange familiar in the town of Nibblebottom at the base of the unnameable mountain in the magical land of Foon. And I'm joined, as always, by my co-host, Chunt the Talking Badger. Everybody's squeaking for the work end. Or what, uh, what, that, yeah. what did that Ooh. shirt say? Everybody's, Everybody's squeaking for the work end. I think that's what it was, right? Remember all those shirts in the merch? I should have grabbed one. We should have got some of those, mer- some of that uh, merch. Yeah, that makes get wet seem like what the wet. Uh, oh, what the wet? The more you say it, the more it grows on me. Kittle, get, that little bat with the wet. flowers I had get is so wet. Get wet. <gasps> that's it. Me and Kittle are going to do a podcast together called Get Wet. Well, I did kick him, so he might be upset mm-hmm. with me. We'll, we'll figure it out later. Buddy, I got to say, just sincerely off the bat, it is so nice to have you all stitched up, all healed, and just to be back in our home. You know, well, um, sorry, that's not your home, but well, it is your home. I mean, that uh, I uh, put my paw in my mouth. It's um, it is your it's sure. it's your home. You, you have two homes, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, leaving the hospital, they gave me a lot of paperwork of things that I should keep in mind and should be doing post uh, operation. And I lost those somewhere along the way, but mm. fingers crossed, I'll just do what I'm doing, and I'll probably be okay, right? That's yeah. what I've always done. Yeah, I think so. I'm also joined by my other co-host. Usador the Wizard. I am Usador, wizard of the twelfth realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Tarakas. The elves know me as Fiang Yalak, the dwarves know me as Zonin Hookstangis, and I am known in the northeast as Gaswinius Maystar. And even though we have returned to our proper timeline and our proper universe, I sense 
mystical messages in the ether. Oh, something is coming, Arnie. Something bigger than we could e'er imagine. Oh, what could it be? Oh, I must... we got some. Some of our mail has been piling up. Shh, while we... Let me oh, focus okay. here. Shh. Let me see if I can pull it out of the very ether. What lies beyond that ephemeral uh, gossamer veil between here, here and now? Magazines. And it could be anything. Big wet. If I think hard enough, wet I bigs. can see it. And if I just open this up, creamy, creamy, wet bigs. Well, this is just a magazine with like drenching Christopher Knox. Pull out this piece of paper, yes. focusing on the realms of Ephesus. Oh, how exciting! This mystical letter I received has oh. informed me that in just a few short months' time, we shall be host to the Wizards' Choice Awards. <gasps> Whoa! Wait, we shall be host? What does that mean? Well, Nibblebottom shall be host. And, oh, I uh, thought the three of us were co-hosting. Well, uh, I believe since uh, the town is hosting, we'll have to do all manner of legwork to make sure it's secure, to get hosts that would be appropriate and exciting uh, listening and viewing for the the people in town and the people back on Earth or Earth. Hmm. Uh, Do we have all time them. to get James Franco and Anne Hathaway to come host the Wizard's Choice Awards? I don't know who that is, uh, but I would never, ever allow anything terrible to happen at the Wizard's Choice Awards. Oh, wait. <gasps> There's another letter here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Arnie, look. It's from the Shapeshifter Tonys. Okay. Uh, oh. oh, I wasn't nominated. Uh, it's because your name's oh, not Tony. So sorry. Yeah. Let's look at the nominees. Tony R, Tony W, Tony Tony, mm. Tony Roney, Tony Pony, Pony comma Tony. Okay, Tony Tony, Pepperoni. Tony Pepperoni. Ah, maybe next year. Uh, but usually, where I'm happy for you, were uh, what were you nominated for? Uh, anything? Well, this doesn't list the nominations just yet. It's just an announcement that the awards will be happening here. I'm sure this is my year, though. I mean, after all, you know. Yes. I, what? I killed the yes. Dark Lord and came back from the dead. Yeah, well, both yeah. Of, none, of, none, of the, none of those things is real. But. Okay, but but no one knows that except for the two of okay. you sure, sure, and maybe sure. a few other people. I told. Look, I don't want to spend too much time talking about the Wizards' Choice Awards because it sounds like it's still a little ways off. But didn't we come to Nibblebottom to be in a remote location where we don't draw too much attention to ourselves because we have we're hiding something? And in the now basement? that's all changed thanks to the Wizards' Choice Awards. All eyes shall be turned to us. And no one shall be able to look away. Hmm. Oh, and look, there's another piece of mail. Pizza Skull was nominated for a Pizza Skullbright scholarship. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Well, that's good for him. That's he's very also, exciting. He's also up for a scholarship next year. He's one of the Om Nom nominees. That is so cool. Pizza hmm. Skull. Pizza Skull. Uh, yeah. What's going on, man? Hey, buddy. You got. It looks like you got some mail. You you got a uh, full bright Pizza Skull bright. You got a. You got mail. Oh man, that landed better earlier. <laughs> what? What the what? Speaking of Pizza Skull, who we haven't had on the podcast in a really long time, and also will continue to not have him on for a really long time. What? Never mind Pizza Skull. Hey, am I crazy or is that Larry Birdman over by the bar? Oh shit. Ooh. It is, indeed. That, uh, well, that's, that is Larry Birdman. We haven't the, seen the him in forever. Yeah, the uh, commissioner of the FML? Uh, commissioner Birdman. Oh. Uh, uh, please come over to the table. Uh, join us. It's been too long. What's up, guys? <laughs> oh, it must. Oh, wow, Kittle must have really populated that phrase around the tavern. Well, we so. have been gone for a few weeks. So, hey, you know. fancy running into you guys uh, way out here. This is this is exciting stuff. Still doing the podcast, I see. Yeah, yeah. This is what these microphones are for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was uh, down at the other end of the bar. wasn't paying uh, much attention, but this is. Uh, Serendipitous, pleasant surprise to run into you guys. Hope everything's been going well. Yeah, how are things with you? I, you know, I, as I said before, I'm not a big sports guy, so yeah. I haven't been following mittens. I, from what yeah, I understand, mittens is not as popular me. around here. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mittens not well. It's been a rough few years for mittens, oh, uh, no. Arnie, as Usador would know. I'm sure. Indeed. I'm sure yes. you don't. Um, yeah. You've never struck me as much of a fan, despite multiple conversations on the topic. Um, and also, yeah, in my defense, 
The one time I went to a Mittens game, I was abducted and imprisoned by the Dark Lord. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Look, it's 20% that's going to happen. You, you, you know, you roll the dice. Mm-hmm. You take your chances mm-hmm. when you come to a game. But 80% of the time, it's great. But yeah, it's been a tough time uh, for, for Mittens over the last few years. And I've got, I have actually have some very exciting news oh. uh, on oh. that front. And uh, I don't know. If you don't mind having me on, I can, uh, I can break some big news here. Oh, yeah. Please. Perfect. Yeah, please, please. Oh, we... be our guest. Share the news. Uh, this, is, this worked out perfectly. Yeah. Great. So, as you don't know, Arnie, but uh, a, a few years ago, Mittens, which of course is the, the national sport of Foon uh, and is based on a game that was invented in a, in a children's book by Tom Bigglesworth called mm. uh, The Loneliest, Loneliest Son of Lonely. Yeah. Um, I keep meaning ran- to get around to reading that book. Well, you know, it's now a banned book, right? Oh. Because uh, it turns out Bigglesworth uh, is a, what we like to call problematic. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, not not well uh, received here in the last couple of mm. years. He uh, he he apparently has a problem with small talls, where a small being marries a tall being, uh-huh. whether they be of the same species or a different species. Don't understand uh-huh. why anybody's business, you know. And why would uh, someone even care about that? Especially someone who wrote a book where clearly uh, uh, different people of all different sizes work together uh, to, to, to do such wonderful things and such a wonderful tale. Yeah, it's but when you go back and you read it, you will notice that there's almost no intermingling of the smalls and the talls oh. throughout, uh, throughout the book, which was, mm-hmm. you know, kind of something not many people noticed, but then Bigglesworth was at a convention and uh, just really put a, a, a dark mark on the sport and on his legacy, I would say. And, you know, I, I've never been a big fan of a lot of the rules of, sure. uh, of Mittens. Sure. And so uh, years ago, I started, I, beca- I left my role uh, as the commissioner of the FML. Wow. This is probably too much information, but I, I started something called the TMI. The, uh, it's, it's for the, uh, uh-huh. it's the Tolerant Mittens Initiative. Oh, that's um, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. And so the, the TMI broke off and we decided to, to create a new league called the S&M, which is Society oh. and Mittens, right? So you get them mm. together, both Society and Mittens. If you need anyone to um, be on the board or help chair S&M, please toss my name in the ring. Yeah. No, I, Chunt, I'd be, I'd be happy to uh, have discussions about that, but I do have yeah, exciting news. Yeah, put in news. a safe word for him. Yeah, absolutely. And I will tell you, the uh, there was quite a lot of uh, controversy around it because um, it was funded by uh, by the Super Hoots, but also quite a bit from Sod E Money. Um, As you may know, Arnie, there are large talking letters that uh, walk around in Foon, um, and one uh, famously was a giant E who was sawed in half. Uh, he's quite rich, but also controversial. So I took a lot of saw to e money to saw start up e uh, my okay. league. And for the last two years, you know, we've really we've kind of been at odds. I changed a lot of the rules to mittens. Mm. Uh, we shrunk the fo- the the field down from two thousand uh, yards to one hundred yards. Okay, and uh, instead of pretty, yeah. Drastic. Yeah, instead of 31 players per side, I changed it to 11. Oh. Huh. And huh. now uh, instead of a potted plant that you carry around, uh, it's uh, it's an oblong ball. And uh, hmm. that one team tries to get a touchdown just like we used to. But the touchdowns are now worth six points instead of one. An and you can hand it off ball. or you can throw the ball. And so we call it throw ball handball is, uh, is what I was calling it mostly. <laughs> throw ball handball? Throw ball handball, yes. Throw ball handball. And so my throw ball handball league, uh, which was considered controversial and kind of crazy by the other mm. league, which uh, then took on the name Bigglesworth Defenders. <laughs> uh, so no. it was the BD league, uh, whereas yeah. I had the S&M league. But I'm, uh, I'm excited to say I've been out here in this remote location and, and we've worked out our differences. <gasps> we had some significant lawsuits that helped uh, create uh, this settlement, but we are bringing the two leagues together to the BDSM League. Oh, um, wonderful. <laughs> so very excited to, to issue that news, and I hope some of the changes, some of the new initiatives mm-hmm. uh, that I had, uh, had launched via the Tolerant Mittens Initiative and so mm-hmm. forth will... Uh, We'll carry over, and the BDSM, I think, will be the best version there's ever been of Mittens. Now, Larry, I immediately have to ask, you've, you've given us so much wonderful inside information. Is there any sort of ball gag order on any of this? Do we, do we have to sign a NDA, SNN, SNNDA? Yeah, well, if it had been just even moments ago, 
I, I would I would have had to have done that, but we've just uh, the the ink is dry. Mm-hmm. Uh, as of uh, less than an hour ago, I was out here for a celebratory drink. Um, so now this is a great time to let the world know mittens is back. It's back in a big way, and um, we should have some you know tremendous teams both from my league and from the old FML coming together. Uh, and it should just be truly wonderful. That reminds me. So I'd, some of the old teams were like the Skur Buzzards. Sure. What were some of the teams in the new league? Well, we took over the Capital City uh, the Capital City team, which uh, had a mm. controversial name itself and just changed to the Capital City Mittens team for a while. Mm. And now the they're the Capital City Small Talls. Oh. So uh, kind of a direct in-your-face mm-hmm. to, yeah, uh, big to Bigglesworth. Fuck you. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, I mean, there were some real coups, even though, you know, t- for me, the s and League wasn't quite, you know, mittens is mittens. And, and, you know, once you shrink the field and you're just throwing the oblong ball, it's, it's not quite the same game anymore. Right. But I thought getting uh, Chunk Buggles butt, I think recruiting him from the uh, original FML over to the SM League well, it was quite a coup. Oh, Sorry, absolutely. his name is yes. Chunk. Oh, that's such a stupid name. <laughs> Uh, great, great, great player. Uh, one of the best, one of the best hillsmen of the last decade mm-hmm. for certain. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot and of I'm people so sorry, say. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Can, I, yes. can you excuse me for just a second? I just want to talk to Usador over here. Yeah. Usador, mm-hmm. I don't. I'm not, I haven't been following the sports stuff, right. but I just want to make sure. Is there any chance that Chunk Buggles Butt is really Chunt in disguise? There's a very slim chance that's true. Uh, he would have to have had some sort of uh, glamour cast upon him to be as tall as oh, Chunk Buggles, but, but he is the exact same color and shape as a badger. Mm, his name is Chunk, and Chunk Butt Buggles is in his butt. last name. Yeah, but he's about five feet tall. Chunk's about three. Yeah. So some sort of glamour that's magic or something. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, we're being rude. We're being rude. Uh, okay, You're sorry about rude. that. Yeah, so we were talking... Chunk bug, Buggles Butt, and uh, what I can name. say about him is uh, he's just, he's so dynamic. He's like a no. different a different person, you know, from week to week. He's come hmm. in different sizes and shapes, it would almost seem, from time to time. Uh, but Boring. he's been dynamic. And, of course, the Saudis have so much money um, that uh, we were able to recruit him away, and I think it was helpful, frankly, in getting this combination. Where does half an E get so much money? Uh, like, well, where does the money come from? He, uh, it's family money, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Oil? OG, uh, the original mm-hmm. big money, was a large O and a large G, right? Mm. Uh, we call them the OG. Uh, they had just a tremendous success in, uh, like, hair care products and condoms. In fact, <laughs> oh. you know, it makes me think. You were just talking about the Wizard's Choice Awards, right? Mm. Couldn't help but overhear that just as you were. Uh, sure. Yeah, uh, no, very exciting in. news. Very exciting news. And uh, I, I do think that's a great marketing opportunity. I've been thinking a lot about marketing since I started my own league. But, you know, you could, like, Delanor Wands could say, hey, Delanor Wand supports the Wizard's Choice Awards because oh. Delanor Wand is the Wizard's Choice for wands, right? Ooh, that's oh. cool. Why don't you get Chunk to do one? Chunk Buggles Butt or whatever his name was. Yeah. Well, that just the exactly reason I thought name. of it is that I, I believe OG condoms are the official condoms of the wizarding community. Oh. I mean, if you were, if you were going to wear a condom, make it an OG. Oh, do wizards nice use condoms? condoms? All over. Huh. I'm going to think about that for a minute. We do, have to, we do have to take a break. And dear listener, I'm sorry to leave you with that thought as we go into this break. Ooh, hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite, Offices and Bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye-bye. So, Larry, I, I want to hear a lot more about the BDSM. Sure. League. And all the changes that are, and and it sounds like you're trying to move into this area, which is exciting. So maybe we'll see you again more often. Um, but we haven't seen you in so long. What have you been? How's your personal life been? You know, uh, improving. I would say. Look, oh. it's tough. It's tough to meet a lady when you have uh, married three and they've all been murdered, right? Um, yeah. sure. Even right, though I believe right. it's been conclusively demonstrated that my. Uh, rival Dick Wizardry was behind all of that. Um, all, so he was behind all of the murders. 
Yeah, I hope. Yeah, oh yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, he was found super guilty. That's that's definitely what happened. That's uh, right. Sorry, Larry. Excuse me for one minute. Uh, I just need to talk to Arnie. Hey, Arnie, can I talk to you over here? Yeah. Hey, how you doing, bud? Good. How are you? Good. Is this? Are you just jealous that I did one with these with Usador a couple minutes ago? Absolutely. But if I were to talk about something, what are the odds? Do you think that Usador is actually Dick Wizardry? Mm, wizard is in the name. Yeah, and we know. I mean, we just found out he probably has a dick because he said he puts condoms everywhere. Yeah. That's so, one of the places, probably. Yeah. That's what, well, that's, that would be one of, of my first three guesses. Is he much of a murderer, though? He's definitely a murmur, because he's, he's always... He is a Oh, my rubble, gosh. Rubble, 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 yeah. Rubble, 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 rubble. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's a murderer. You're right. You're right. Well, you look great, buddy. Let's get back to it. Oh, thank you. Sorry about that, everybody. We just had to have a, a little breakout meeting there for a second. Yeah, no no problem. Uh, as I said, I was just out here uh, sealing this deal. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I, we were getting nervous. I was worried that uh, if if we didn't come to a merger soon, you know, I, I might end up taking an L. One of the giant letters? Yeah, uh, th- that I would have to uh, uh, Take spend out, some time or? with with the L, uh, which is just, just miserable. Worst dinner companion of the year is the L. Big, big ol' L. Uh, if I may, Larry, uh, uh, L, big L sounds great, but, I mean, if you want to seal the deal, I'd maybe try going on a date with the big O. Oh, yeah, sure. Might be something to something to experience. Hey, I'm uh, always interested in uh, spending time with uh, any member of the OG, especially the big O. Mm. Uh, also, the name, uh, the nickname of one of the great mittens players of all time. Roscar Robertson, uh, who was called the Big O. Roscar. Um, yeah, he he spelled his name R O S C A R, but the O was bigger than the other letters, and so uh. yeah, he called him the Big O. Uh. Yeah, he he tripled the size of his O and then decided to double it. Is that right? Mm. The all-time triple double uh, Oer. That's right. He he. A lot of people said, "Didn't you just make it six times bigger?" But he said, "Nope, I tripled it and then I doubled it. That <laughs> is what I did. I'm the Big O, Roscar Robertson." Uh, I think Chunk might have uh, actually uh, been the first one to, to make his one of the letters in his name smaller. The K got very, very small in Chunk. Mm. Yep, it but, was a special uh, K uh, right at the mm, little K, a special mm, K right there in the back of his name. Almost like the little K fell in like a K hole, got smaller. Yeah, and then, then there was like kind of, he was like kind of underline it, but on the top. And then there was a line between Chunk and Buggles Butt. So it's sort of like this big long line across the top, a little line in between. So it was like mm. C H U N, mm-hmm. almost no K, and then something that looked. I guess you could say it looked a little bit like uh, a T. Larry, Larry, uh, any other any other topic? Any other topic in the world? Sure. Yeah. Well, as I said, uh, I I do think I'm getting close with a fourth lady. Uh, could be a fourth marriage, and well, that's uh, you wonderful. Know, well, I hope you're forthcoming. Uh, hoping that Dick Wizardry, who I kind of can't help my love-hate relationship with, did invite him to the wedding, um, which I think is going to probably be a mistake. Um, oh, you found him? I, I thought he had uh, disappeared through a portal or something after he was convicted the last time. Oh, that's true. I, I should I should be more clear. I, I simply have put out into the ether um, ah. one of these uh, uh, RSVP requests, um, and, uh, you know, so I do hope... Uh, the dick, uh, wherever he might be, does find his way. We can uh, mend some fences and also bury our past troubles after we uh, work on those fences because he did uh, drive a Bronco directly through my uh, uh, my yard, knocking down my fence, which I would like uh-huh, mended sure. before. Uh, Let me, I, I have a little bit of a follow-up question here. Now, I know Dick Wizardry is a, is a former Mittens rival of yours. You yes. say you have a love-hate relationship with him. He murdered your three past wives. Yes, correct. Where Where does the love part? come in? You know, it's a great question, but question. when you have shared as much time as we have doing battle on the Middens mm. field, a great Baskin, you know, I hate to brag, but I, I think I was one, and mm. a great quarterback as uh, as Wizardry was, uh, are, are just going to go head-to-head throughout the game, and we must have played one another, you know, seven times in our storied career. Uh-huh. Uh, so it was, it's hard to have that experience with someone and not form a little bit of a bond. And, uh, I, I, I should clarify for Arnie, though. They, they played in seven games against each other. And, you know, a game roughly usually takes two weeks to a month. But one of their games lasted six months. That's right. Really? Yeah, the most was, uh, famous game. Yes. Yeah, the, probably the longest game uh, in recorded history. 183 days. They called it the 183 Days War as a... Uh-huh. Uh, 
a little nickname for it. There's, there's a lot of nicknames for that game. The game that never ended. The, mm-hmm. uh, the divorce creator. So many divorces sure. followed that because a lot of people bought tickets and were gone from their families for 183 mm-hmm. consecutive days. The children was, refer um, to it as wet pants. They all just wet their pants. Oh, yes. that reminds me. My issue of wet pants came in. Arnie, do you want to borrow it? Sure. Um, Larry, if I may, we're here in Nibblebottom. The three of us, we've kind of, you know, found shelter here. It's uh, a current home. Any way we could bring a team here, like have a Nibblebottom uh, BDSM team, maybe like the Nibblebottom Whips and Chains, the Nibblebottom Step on My Balls, something, just something to kind of get our foot in the door, mm-hmm. bring well, the excitement uh, here? You know, I, it's, a, it's an interesting question. I mean, we came out here because no one is ever out here, right? And yeah. we yeah. wanted mm-hmm. extreme secrecy. You know, when you get me together with the current chairman of the FML, you know, it's it's big news. And so we had to keep sure. it secret. Uh, sure. That being said, you know, we're wide open. This is going to be the largest, most inclusive league. Uh, there's going to be new teams. There's going to be the old rivalries are going to go away, Usador. I promise you that. The, your oh. your Skur Buzzards are still going to get to play against Capital City uh, every year. You know, we're going to keep what was great about the game. We're going to yeah. get rid of what was bad. The bird rule is going to be gone. We're going to oh. have a tremendous, tremendous next decade of of, uh, of mittens. And, and here's one thing that, that you know, is, remains controversial. But what we're going to try to do is have the best team not get banned from the sport for 10 consecutive years, oh, as, uh, as has always been the case, which, you know, a lot of people hate. Yeah, I, guar- I almost guarantee you, Larry, if you brought a team to Nibblebottom, I could almost sign a piece of paper right now that would guarantee that Chunk Boogle Balls, or whatever his name was, would play for the Nibblebottom He's, you team. You said it right that last time. Because it would, it would, I'm sure it would make his life so much easier. He would probably not be tired before every single game due to travel. So it's well, just something to consider. If there's yeah, a big I'd, gaping hole in the BDSM that uh, sure. maybe a team in Nibblebottom would fill it. That would be quite a coup uh, to get Chunk here. But I have to say there are quite a few naturally talented uh, athletes here. Nibblebottom is, is populated by many witches, you know. And, mm-hmm. and you know, they're well known for their spells, their potions, and their natural yeah. kitchens. So I think if we were the spells, potions, and natural kitchens, the spankers, Ooh. I think the uh, uh, the nibble bottom spankers would be a great team. I love it. Uh, and what's interesting is we've already ordered uh, extra uniforms that we don't need because we uh, we wanted like this one really good uh, gray uniform for the Capital City team, and they got fifty one different shades of gray. So there's fifty extra oh. shades of gray just That's sitting cool. around uh, waiting for some oh. other team to use for. Uh, so if, if you wanted to have that in the nibble bottom uh, squad, you could have it. Sure, yeah, well, I, we uh, could definitely do that. You sir, uh, sorry, uh, Larry Arnie. You sir, do, uh, do you mind if I talk to you over here for a minute? Um, yeah, sure. What, what is it that you need, Chung? Hey, I just wanted to check on you. Um, yeah. Maybe in the last ten minutes, you said coo twice. Are you turning into a pigeon? I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Please don't tell Arnie. I'm not ready to tell him yet. Oh, speaking of Arnie, what but are I the am. odds? Do you think that Arnie no. is ro- uh, uh, Roscoe Roscoe Robertson? Oh, the oh I, there's no chance of that. Okay. I don't think Ani's had a, a big O in quite a while. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, don't, yeah, definitely turn into a pigeon. Don't worry about it. Sorry about that. Hey, Larry, do you think they suspect that I'm secretly Rory Culkin? Uh, no, I, 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 I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't, okay. I wouldn't expect so. So now, Arnie, um, you, you know, uh, for so long, I, I think uh, it was kind of your your quest to defeat the Dark Lord, which I understand has been accomplished. Mm-hmm. Uh, when yeah, talking yeah. About the others I defeated left. the Dark Lord yeah. with the help. Hang, hang on, hang on. That's why we have the big banner back here, Mission Accomplished. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, it's just so interesting because I, I that view That banner it as, used you know, to say a mission accomplished. Well, before that, it also said missionary accomplished. Yes. Um, but that was me. I ordered it for a bachelor party. and. Uh, mm-hmm. We've been repurposing it, refurbishing it a few times. It's almost completely illegible now. We've we've crossed out and rewritten letters so many times. But yes, the Dark Lord who yes. is, is definitely yes, yes. really dead. Oh, and well, that's great, you know, um, because I've just been thinking about it. You know, I feel like we all have our own Dark Lord. You know, for some it's a lack of education, Ooh. for others it's shyness. Uh, for you, it was the. Uh, the actual Dark Lord, who was a mm-hmm. lord trying to take over and destroy the world, but <laughs> you know, I've been dealing with my own Dark Lords uh, over oh. the past few years. Sure, oh. you know the rules of mittens, having to mm-hmm. stand up for uh, Tom, who they now call Tom Bigotsworth. You know, when it comes to his yeah. small, tall uh, mm-hmm. hatred, and, and you know, wearing a lot of that, and, and just so sort of having this time away, 
has really been helpful for me kind of to vanquish my own dark lords, if you'll allow for that, you, you know, parlance. Sure. Um, certainly not uh, not saying it's the same or better or worse, you know, than what uh, you guys have accomplished. I mean, I guess it's worse. But, it's worse. Y- you know, it's been good for me. Mm-hmm. Good. Congratulations. That's fantastic. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Do you count Dick Wizardry as one of your dark lords, or do you feel like that... Um for sure. I think my hatred of Dick Wizardry, um, g- given his murder of my... Uh, you know, it's funny that I earlier really was focused on the fence break, um, when <laughs> I, I, think, yeah. Yeah. I think most people would argue, you know, he, he murdered three of your wives, started no, I in I thought that. it was a metaphor. But what I've really done is made myself forgiven, you know, not forget, but forgive when mm. it comes to, to those transgressions. And, you know, I'm working on myself every day. It's There's a lot that Dick Wizardry took away from me, my fence... Uh, he owes me. I had a. I wouldn't again. start with that. Yeah. Well, I mean, but I guess once your third wife gets killed, you're just like, oh, okay. Yeah. He what? took. He took away my TV. My I had. TV. I had standing lunch with uh, a tall, uh, like a giant T and a giant V, and oh, uh, right. Dick Wizardry cut in, and uh, mm-hmm. so in my view, he he absconded with my TV. Let's just throw out a hypothetical here. What if all these murders were? Oh, I don't know. Justified. Well, that seems uh, seems unlikely to me. Uh, I spent a lot of time. What, with... what if all your wives were secretly trying to kill you, and Dick Wizardry was just trying to protect you this whole time? Uh, you know, it's an interesting theory. You know, I did I did it at different times. I uh, think, you know, someone was out to get me, but you know, I think mm-hmm. it's far more likely that it was Dick Wizardry, yeah. uh, given that he uh, did in fact murder three of my wives. But that yeah, that's one right. of the dark lords I put behind me, Chunt. I appreciate the question. And, uh, you know, I hope each of you, in your own way, is dealing with your own Dark Lords, including the actual Dark Lord that you have dealt with. Yes, indeed. Follow-up question. 85-inch? How, how big of a TV? Uh, well, I'd say if you added them together, um, the T was uh, 83 inches and the V was 2. Wow. So, yeah, right there. That was a small Ooh. tall. It was definitely oh, it was a, small a small tall. tall beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You, you seem like a real man of letters. I'm just realizing you spent a lot of time with letters. Yes. You're a real letterman. Yes, that, that, that's uh, fair to say. Wow, yeah, Arnie. Look at that letterman oh. jacket. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. If I could, if I could wait, yeah, yeah, if that, I could wait. That I apologize. But I've been away from the fourth fiancé for so long. I, mm-hmm. Sure, sure. No fourth play. <laughs> Correct. Did, I'm sorry. You sort of... Were you, you said something a minute ago. What oh, I just that? said... <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, buddy. Um, oh, Usador, come on. On the table? Oh. Ugh. Sorry. I apologize oh. for running out of the room there very quickly, guys. When I heard a bird sound, I just instinctively tried to chase it to uh, oh. catch it on the field and Obviously. throw it off. Right. Yes. For the points. For yeah, the points. 700 points if, you, if you're able to catch a bird on the field. Guys, don't mind me. I'm just going to real quick put some of these metal spikes on the table, and hopefully that helps the situation. Why don't we take another quick cleaning? break it's and clean up some of this good. shit? Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spinoffs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern. So, Larry, it's been a while, and I, I don't know why you would necessarily know, because you work with so many people, Yeah. but how is the announcer Rick Picklesmith doing? I, I don't think we've seen him since oh. since that big last FML game we, we attended. Yeah, I can't, uh, can't say for certain, but I imagine we'll be hearing more of him now that we have the BDSM together, and mm-hmm. uh, we're going to want the top talent. Uh, you know, look, why don't we uh, celebrate a little bit? Um, can I get you guys a drink while we're here? Can I pick something sure. up? Sure. Oh, yeah. How about I get you some of D's nuts right over there? You see the gigantic D? He uh, He's bartending, and he's got phenomenal oh, nuts uh, right there, some peanuts and walnut mix. It's oh, okay. fantastic. This is Chunt. And this is Usador. And we're getting Phenomenal nuts. nuts. Wait, what? What did you say? Sorry, never mind. Yeah, whoops. Chunt, Usador, have you thought that maybe... Get nuts is past its prime. <laughs> yeah, Arnie. Get I, nuts is pa- get nuts should stop the podcast. Nice one, dude. And we're still getting lots of sponsors, so I think we're all right. Really? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, sir, what are some of the sponsors? Um, forests. The sun. Planters, the people who plant the nuts. Mm-hmm. Um, growers. Uh, harvesters, of course. Reapers, grim and otherwise. Sears, Roebuck. Um, Mystic Pizza. <laughs> Well, that's Pizza Skull's uh, pizza shop. If you guys are doing really well, you ought to sponsor. You ought to. You ought to sponsor the Wizard Choice Awards, right? You can get Ooh. nuts when Maybe wizards choose a podcast. They choose to get, get nuts. Nuts. Oh, that's good. Yes. I really like that. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I've been doing yeah, a, a lot of marketing with the uh, with the uh, the TMI and the S and M and now the BDSM. A lot of it. Yeah. You have you ever done any other work that's not sports related, like? Like, you know, directed oh, a big yeah. event. No, I was a big time investment banker for 30 years before I got into, uh, huh. into mittens. Whoa. Yeah. Huh. Brokered some of the largest deals in the country, but uh, mittens was my, uh, I don't know, my, it just felt like a calling. Um, and then I was a hairdresser for a while. What? Uh, yeah. I uh, would uh, costume rabbits for, uh, uh, like, basically for, I don't know, children's shows and. <laughs> Uh-huh. I find whenever I'm at the theater and somebody has failed to dress a rabbit appropriately, uh, I'm like, wait, why didn't they just hire a hairdresser? Right. So that you could see, you know, the rabbit playing, you know, uh, yeah. the sister or the or the bedraggled father. You know, I, I think rabbit theaters is underrated. Yeah, I yeah. love uh, rabbit theater and especially the new brand of... Uh, Rabbit Theater with the improvisation, which they're calling hair and makeup. It's uh, top-notch stuff. Hair and oh, makeup? That even sounds like putting a lipstick on a pig. Oh, that's uh, uh, also... <laughs> I spent uh, a couple of years uh, back in pig makeup, uh, no doubt about it. You've really been through all the livestock. I have. I've, I've, I've done a lot over the years, and, uh, you know, I have regrets. I have uh, good memories mm-hmm. uh, all together, but, again, I'm just, I'm just working on not focusing on dwelling on the bad stuff, but instead putting my Dark Lords behind me, sure. uh, focusing on the future, yeah. and I believe the future is a better Mittens game, one that uh, the traditionalists will like and one that new fans will uh, flock to as well. So I how much that. of Mittens, how much of it is going to be Mittens, and how much of it is going to be... Handball, throwball. Handball, um, throwball. Yeah, how much is going to be Mittens, how much is going to be handball, throwball? You know, uh, remains to be seen. Uh, the, the ink is barely dry on the merger papers, uh, but I, I suspect we'll be more in the more on the mitten side than, than mm-hmm. a lot of the new rules, but, mm-hmm. but shaking off a few of the, the rustiest and, and least worthy of the old rules, I guess. The ones you always found to be somewhat uh, troubling. Yes. And difficult for the for the game. Yeah, like I hate uh, the rule that if you commit a foul, uh, the other player loses a team. We're done with that. That's that's the other be player fun. loses a team. <laughs> well, I misspoke, but it, it may as well be that because if you commit a foul, the other team loses a player. Is what I meant to say. Mm, oh, and okay. uh, so we're getting rid of that rule. Larry, um, yes, I have to ask uh, with handball throwball. Are you going to use any, I mean, supernatural forces in terms of, like, maybe demon dogs? Like, will there be helmets or no helmets? Because I feel like that might be a big safety mm. issue in terms of, like, players' longevity and health. Yeah, what we do is we take those demon dogs, we roll them up in a bunch of pillows. So you have ev- extra padded helmets, so there's no uh, risk. Well, there's always some risk. Yeah, helmets are tricky. Yeah. Well, you can't, you can't get rid of all of the risk, you know, but... Um, yeah. They could we, pop off at any time. Just oh. well, uh, what? The, yeah, we had a Helmut run into uh, the band of former prisoners who uh, are playing um, mostly percussion, and so we uh-huh. had uh, you know the concussion uh, oh. was uh, that occurred because of uh, we didn't have appropriate Helmuts, and uh, we can't have that again. Yeah, makes sense. Well, I just want to. You, what was flapping that? His, flapping his gums and wings again. Arnie, I should tell you, Larry, you might have noticed, Usador's slowly turning into a pigeon. Um, oh. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if he sat on a spell or something, but I mean, he is turning into something he loves, so that's good, but it seems like something we should remedy before he goes full, full pigeon, full squab. Yeah, I, I noticed immediately, but felt uh, it was rude to point out. Uh, and you, Story, I wish you the best. Uh, it sounds like you have a new Dark Lord, which is spending, you know, uh, part of your time as a pigeon. Oh, I speak well. pigeon. He said thank you. Oh, okay. I've been a pigeon, too. Well, let's not squabble about it. Dead air. 
Well, Leary, would you mind hanging out while we answer a few emails? No, I would love to. I'm just thrilled. Uh, it's uh, really my first kind of vacation in a while, and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just grateful to be here and uh, very happy that I stumbled onto the podcast. Good to see you guys again. Yeah, And, you know, you Good actually said that you were here meeting. Who is the new commissioner of the FML? Uh, well, um, you know, one of my uh, longtime uh, rivals and, you know, one of the great players for a, a long, long time, uh, Dr. J. Hmm. He's uh, just an actual huge J, and <laughs> he is a physician. Uh -huh. uh, but just as I was a banker turned Baskin, he was a physician turned quarterback, and uh, Dr. J is the new uh, head of the FML. What kind of medicine did a giant letter J practice? Uh, well, it was for children's cancer, if you must ask. It was pediatric oh, okay. oncology. So it was, uh, <laughs> okay. you know, yeah. about yeah. as tough as it gets. About as tough as it something gets. Something that started Very with respectful. A J, It must be hard for a J to become a doctor because then doesn't he get confused as a MD? Yeah, yeah, Ooh. that's a, I thought that's, that. that's a good point. No, Dr. J, wonderful man. Doesn't support uh, Bigglesworth's uh, small, tall mm -hmm. hatred, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, has done a good job uh, kind of holding the FML together in my absence. And, you know, he was somebody that I worked with uh, quite a bit back when I was commissioner. So sure. ha happy to do the deal with him now. Well, that's good. I'm excited. I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm excited to get back into mittens. Oh, yeah. Arnie, that's very admirable. I, I didn't know you were uh, looking to get into sport. I wasn't, but I don't know. Maybe. Well, hey, winter is coming. Yeah. It's getting cold out. It's time to get back into mittens. And Arnie, if you ever want to come see, uh, old, what's his name, Chunk McDougal play, I'm sure he'd leave you tickets at the gate. Why would he do that? No, I'm just saying. I just I've, any player probably would. I'm just saying. Fuck well, that guy. I Fuck mean, that dude. Yeah. Not any player. I, yeah. They're they're quite famous and wealthy, so I don't. Yeah. Think. Okay. Never mind. You're saying I should anything. just show up to a sporting event and be like, I bet somebody left me tickets. I'm just saying he probably wants his friends to show up. It, it, maybe he, I don't Arnie's know. Maybe he's friends a, with him. Difficult. No, I'm just saying he's a, probably this guy's yeah. in a difficult situation. He's in a, a bit of a pickle and he doesn't know how to tell his friends to come. I, I don't okay. forget it. Hey, forget it. Okay. D's. Hey, D's. Mm -hmm. Can I get Can I get some more nuts? Oh, looks like D's got some coworkers here. S and S and T. Huh. These nuts don't look healthy. Um, STDs nuts. These these, these nuts <sighs> have. Is this a rash? Nuts. Is this a rash? Mm. Oh. Sorry, I was just uh, tired of being a pigeon. Oh, oh. sure. Oh, good. Uh, I hate to segue to emails now, but you know, it, listeners, if you want to email us, you can email us using several methods. One of them is you can email us at Magic Tavern at Puppies Supplies. It's a real email address. Here's an email we received recently. Hi, big fan here who's been binging the podcast and is now in the middle of season two. I know it might take a bit for me to get to where you are now, but I was wondering if Usador could divine my true Foonian name. I'd love to know what else I could go by, whether secret name or not. Thanks. Signed, Tristan Wellman. Tristan hmm. Wellman. Let me divine for you now, as I reach out into the realms beyond what is known to mortals of this land, and I shall tell you your true name is Smugglethorp. Smugglethorp? Smugglethorp? I gotta say, Tristan Wellman, that's already a, that's a pretty good name. That's Tristan that's Wellman. That's a great I name. I'd take that name in a yeah. second. I'd take it definitely over Chunk Bogobop, whatever it was. I think uh, Tristan is a lovely name, uh, not a traditional Earth name, like something like Billy Yum Yum 2x2 or something, but sure, uh, sure. but still very good. Uh, and I, uh, Ani, may I read a message as well? Sure, how did you get a message? I don't, I don't usually do this, uh, but through our Patreon, someone has sent a message directly to Ani Chantanusador. It says, hi, Ani Chantanusador. That's how I knew. I have been following your adventures through Foon since my senior year of high school during the pandemic. While I have fallen in and out of podcast listening, you guys what? have been on in the background of my life nonstop over the past three months so I could finally get fully caught up. I only have five episodes until I catch up, and by the time you read this, I'll probably have most of the Patreon back catalog finished as well. And I'm so glad to have you guys as a major part of my life again as I enter my third year of college. Thanks for all the laughs over the years, and thanks for keeping me company when I had few others to turn to. Oh, just like Chunk. 
P.S. I work at a bakery, and we have a sign that says, Eat the Harvest on it. For some reason, every time I see it, I hear Yusuro say it in a dramatic voice. Yusuro, could you say it for me? Eat the Harvest. Oh. With many magical thanks, Andrew from NC. Andrew, thank you so much. Guys, are we old? Andrew was in high school when he's... Yeah. Are we well, old? I think we're old. I mean, Usador is really old. How yeah. dare you? I'm only 354 or something. And that's the new 326. Uh, Arnie, do we have time for me to read one of the letters to Wet Bigs Forum? Sure, please. <laughs> wet is bigs? this Wet Bigs or Wet Pants? I have Wet Bigs. I have Big Wets. I have uh, Wet Pants. What do we want? Dealer's choice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's stick. Let's stick with uh, Wet Bigs. <clears throat> Dear Wet Bigs Forum, first time, long time, if you know what I mean. The other day I went to a party and there was a lot of letters there. I hit it off with one of the letters, so we went back to their place. We were drinking some wine, some mead, having a good time. When suddenly, we lay down on the floor. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, S, 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 O, B, J, B, J, B, J, O. I alpha busted immediately. <laughs> Signed. <laughs> no. Letter lover. Wow. Huh. We should be reading more letters from Wet Bigs Forum. That was sure. really enjoyable. Yeah. Maybe and sorry I put on my, own. sorry I put on, much like Usador has his chef cadence, sorry I put on my horny tone. That reminded me of uh, penthouse letters. Which, uh, that's, that's where the Saudis live, uh, up in the penthouse. Any, any of the letters, uh, I, I mean, I, I don't know exactly what that was, but I, I, I can't, uh, can't make judgments about it. All of a sudden, I'll be a, a Bigglesworth in my own right, you know? You like letters, you like smalls, you like talls, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Love who you want to love. That's and, right. f and fuck the Bigglesworths of the world. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and Larry, I'll just say this, uh, from my time traveling uh, through dimensions and, and being in touch with the realms of Ephesius, I'm sure that Dick Wizardry will be at your wedding. I hope so. I hope so. I'm excited. It looks like the wedding should be uh, next year in May. So uh, fingers crossed, and uh, we'll hope, hopefully see Dick there along with you know a lot of my uh, good friends. And you know, uh, I'll be sure to get you guys uh, an invitation as well. Oh, it's been, oh uh, yeah. Thank, thank you so you. much. That would be great. Oh. Yes, and he'll make sure that your wife isn't a murderess. Yeah, oh, you know, whatever. I'm, uh, we'll, we'll see if he even comes. Well, anyway, cheers to us and jeers to Biggles Turfs. Yep, tough oh, times for Tom uh, Bigglesworth. Uh, he, he can only, uh, you know, fall back on the $3 billion he's built in oh, his uh, empire. Yeah. Uh, oh. See if he's, you know, can somehow comfort himself with that. Um, yeah, but still, for the record, fuck him. Sure. Yeah. Bad guy. So close to ending on a positive note. Still, we've got to be true to our nature. If Oppenheimer and Barbie taught me anything, it's that. Yuzuro the Wizard was played by Matt Young. Chunt the Talking Badger was played by Adol Rafai. Larry Birdman was played by special guest Rush Howell. Hello from the Magic Tavern is an independent production, made possible by thousands of house elves working in inhumane conditions under the Great Hall. Also by supporters of the Magic Tavern Patreon. I'm talking quality peeps like Kelly Elaine Hickey. Appa, Hill Witch, if you're a fan of Barrow White, it's time to level up with Hill Witch, Devin P, Kiara and Norman Anderson, Ali Skoglund, Danny S, Kaz, Adam Bryant, Emmett M, Ella Littman, and Mitchell Angus. Patrons get ad-free episodes, the entire back catalog including all the previous spin-offs, and at least two new bonus episodes each month. To learn more about supporting the show, visit patreon.com slash magic tavern. Hello from the Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp, Matt Young, and Adol Rafai. Post-production coordination by Garrett Schultz. Associate producer, Anna Haverman. This episode edited by Stefan Dranger. Hello from the Magic Tavern logo by Allard LeBan. Magic Tavern theme by Andy Poland. Andy Poland.